Meet Cherry Jam. Written by Amy Alexberg. Illustrated by Laura Thomas. Read by Nutmeg Cupcake. Strawberry Shortcake and her friend were very excited. Their superstar, Cherry Jam, was moving to Berry Bitty City. That's a mouthful. Berry Bitty City. I can't wait to meet Cherry Jam, cried Lemon Pingle. Meringue. Meringue. I know all her songs by heart, exclaimed Plum Pudding. She's very talented. She she is very talented. Raspberry tort, tart tart said. Added. Added. I have an idea," said Strawberry. "Let's have a party at my cafe to welcome Cherry." "Yes," said Orange Blossom and Blueberry Muffin. Strawberry and her friends spent the next day getting ready for the party. They put up decorations and and baked tasty treats. Everyone at the party that night, cafe the cafe was crowded. Everyone in Berry City wanted to meet Cherry Jam. When Cherry arrived, Strawberry and her friends introduced themselves. Very good. It was. It's very nice to meet you, Strawberry. Told Cherry. I can't, we can't wait to hang out with you. Exclaimed Plum Plum. How sweet of you, Cherry replied. Is it fun to be so famous? Orange asked. Cherry, do you love wearing all the costumes and makeup? Added Lemon. Actually, Cherry said, I am taking some time off from the spotlight. But why? cried cried. Raspberry. Sometimes being famous can be very lonely. Cherry explained. I have lots of fans, but no true friends. I feel like no one really likes the real me. No one really knows the real me. No one really knows the real me. Hmm, said Strawberry. I think we know how to. Make you feel at home and here in Berry City. Over the next few days, Cherry, I mean Strawberry, and her friends took turns getting to know Raspberry. Cherry. I, Cherry. Raspberry and Cherry tra- traded mm-hmm. fashion advice. They designed some outfits for Cherry's new life out in the spotlight. Out of the spotlight. Out of the spotlight. Cherry visited Lemon's hair salon. Lemon gave her a fabulous new look that was very different from the one that Cherry wore when she was performing. But blue. Cherry and Cherry, Cherry shared, shared fruit smoothies at Blueberry's bookstore. Mm-hmm. They talked about their favorite books and movies. Cherry went to Orange's store, where Orange, and Orange helped Cherry shop for decorations. Decorations at her new home. For her new home. For her new home.
was missing. At Plum Studio, Plum and Cherry worked on their dance move. Mm -hmm. Finally, Strawberry and Cherry wrote and rehearsed a few songs led by our friends to over to hear us perform. The strawberry when they were finished. Great idea. Cherry agreed. Soon, all the girls were rocking into rhythms of Cherry and Strawberry's new tune. Orange, Orange, Plum, and Raspberry grabbed instruments and joined in. While Lemon and Blueberry popped the beat. Bopped to the beat. That was very good. It claimed Cherry when they took a break. We sound fruit-tastic, Orange said. Now we owe it to all of you, Cherry, said Raspberry. Now we know the real you. You mean it? asked Cherry shyly. Actually, yeah, shyly. Yes, and Strawberry said Strawberry. You're a talented singer who is super sweet and the very fun to be with. And all around fabulous friend at the blueberry. Thanks. Thank you, said Cherry. And I think not only I have found the perfect pile, pals, we found the perfect band. I found the perfect bandmates too, said Cherry. Yes, it claimed all of Cherry's new best friends. The end.